Here I'd just like to do one problem where we're asked to evaluate an expression. We'll use this opportunity to um, do another example with adding mixed numbers. So we want to evaluate a plus b plus c, where a equals 2 and 5 ninths, b equals 6 and 5 6, and c equals 7 and 5 eighths. We'll just write out uh, the addition problem that we get first of all. So we have 2 5 ninths plus 6 and 5 6 plus 7 and 5 eighths. So first we need to find the least common denominator. Um, and notice that this is going to be kind of a tough one to figure out because, um, you know, Eight, for example, eight and nine have nothing in common, but then nine has something in common with six, eight has something in common with six. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the prime factor method here. Even though the prime factoring won't take me long, I think it's gonna be worth it. So I've got nine is three times three, six is two times three, and eight is two times four, which is two times two. And so that would mean that our LCD is just made up of twos and threes, um, but we've got, looks like we better use three factors of two, because eight has three factors of two, and we better use two factors of three, since nine has two factors of three. So uh, two cubed is eight, three squared is nine, so it looks like 72 is the least common denominator. All right, so now we need to figure out what to multiply top and bottom of all these fractions by. And so we know that 9 times 8 is 72. So I will multiply the top and bottom of this fraction part by 8. So that's going to give me 2 and 40 70 seconds for that first mixed number. Plus 6 and, you know, uh, there is no um, nice multiplication fact with 6 and 72, so you might not know that off the top of your head. So um, remember what you can do is you can say, all right, well, 2 cubed, that's 2 times 2 times 2. 3 squared is 3 times 3. And when you're talking about 6, we're talking about... using up a 2 and using up a 3. So what's left? 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12. So that must mean I need to multiply 6 by 12 to make 72. Okay. Again, the other way that you can uh, get that same conclusion is just to simply divide by uh, 72 by 6 and you'll also get 12. So we'll multiply top and bottom here by 12. And so what we end up with is 6 times 12 is 72, 5 times 12 is 60. And then plus 7, and I know that 8 times 9 is 72. So 5 times 9 is 45, so this is what we have. So let's go ahead and add up the whole parts first. 2 plus 6 is 8, plus 7 is 15. And then maybe over on the side here, we'll add up those numerators. So 40 plus 60 plus 45. And so that's going to give us 145. So remember that if this fraction part in our answer ends up being improper, we need to convert it into a mixed number and then add its whole part to 15. And so we've got 145 divided by 72 and let's see 72 is actually going to barely fit into 145 twice because 2 times 2 is 4 and then 2 times 7 is 14 so 2 times 72 is 144 so what we end up with is 145 over 72 is the same as 2 and 1 72nd and so what we'll do is we'll add these two to the 15, making that a 17, and then the new fraction part 
is one seventy second.